Hi guys, so in today's video, we are going to install Resurrection Remix on our Grand Prime. So as you can see, right now I'm booting into the recovery. So if you want to know how to install a custom recovery on Grand Prime, you can just find many videos on that. So I'm not going to cover that in this video and let's just install the ROM. So first of all, go to the wipe, advanced wipe, dynamic catch, system, catch, data. Let's wipe that. But uh, let me just tell you, if you want to install Google Play Store or G Apps, then you have to download the G Apps separately. I'm not going to install it in this video because I'm just only testing, uh, so I've not downloaded that. But if you want to flash, I'll just tell you. First of all, there he, here is my ROM. But if you want to add a, a Google Play Store, please hit this button and select another uh, G Apps file, which I will link leave a link in the description. Sorry for my bad English. No. Swipe to install. And as you can see, it's uh, installing. Very nice, cool logo over there. It's patching. So I will skip this part and hit you up right back. So as you can see, the ROM has been completely installed. And let's just reboot the system. Galaxy Grand Prime. I hope it boots. There we go. So, wow, there's a new boot animation. I never seen that on a Resurrection Remix, but it's way cooler. Wow, I can see this all day. Let me just give you a bit closer look on that. It looks much cooler than before. And that was so fast, powered by Android 5.1.1. So the optimization in this ROM has been gone very deeply. Like this ROM is very fast in booting and also it has been started optimizing the apps very quick actually. Than any other ROM I have seen for the Grand Prime or any other device actually. That was very quick. I want to enjoy that boot animation a more. But I don't guess we can do it. Upgrade in progress. Okay. It's been booted. That was pretty quick. So as you can see, we have been greeted uh, with a nice home screen. You, I won't be getting a settings need. Uh, okay, I won't be getting a setup screen because I have not installed the GFs. But you will get it if you install one. And just decrease the brightness a bit. That would be good. Sorry, I don't know what's like happening with my focus right now. I think that was better. Let's just take a quick look around the ROM. First, first of all, impressions, it's very fast and quick. Well, let me just turn off my mobile data. Oops. Let's just take a quick look in settings. It's fast, very fast, like no complaints at all. Which black? Switch them. I want it black. Whoa. It looks ugly on camera, so I will not do that. So theme chooser is also present from the Cyanogen mod. It's the same base, so we do get that. Configuration status bar, what you do we get brightness control. Pretty much nothing new to me. It may be nice to you guys. For first of all, uh, like for new guys we who have not like rooted or, or installed a custom ROM on, on their device, which should be good. Hide sensitive tiles. Pretty good options like. If you hide some sensitive tiles like activating something which will be harmful for your device like performance modes or uh, notification toggles memory bar i will like that there is a memory bar cool and search bar in menu clear all tasks shift to clear all tasks that's good omni switch is also available there and we show you okay there it is so it's like a, a different recent apps for your device than usual one and we just open some random apps actually the animations are like pretty okay so it's a lollipop they are the same i'm just forgot this is a two year old device and also two year old os so the camera is working pretty fine okay that's good that's good let's just check whether the front one is working there I am, pretty cool. It's very blurry actually, if you can't notice in the camera. So as you can see the Omni switch is working. 
we have our apps you can just switch it like that or something like this or many other options to open any app which is good we also can pin apps what is this okay so directly open the settings i would personally don't like it only to show off let's just disable that good check to clear animations are also there i love list view animations what is it no alpha what is that no nothing good on fold okay i like this one the systems animations ah, that's just a bit of a deep thing but let me show you the configuration i have no no wow that's a bit awkward let's just check again no the animation is not working i don't know why lock screen buttons are also there so if you can okay cool so if you don't want to use your hardware buttons and save up some battery i don't know how can it save up but you still have a option to use a nav bar sorry for my bad english i have a really a big mouth ache mouth ache not my throat is just paining a lot this is miscellaneous wake lock blocker good many new features actually i have not like used a resurrection remix in a quite a while updates are also there gestures display it will just disable that it just uh, drain battery so the animation sometimes works sometimes not okay so it it's a bit buggy as you can see let me just hold it a bit closer 5.1.1 signage in mod it's actually signage in mod just a plain more like set of mods which can be added and that's called a resurrection remix rom nothing new i guess we can open up with that okay it was just misplaced i have not used a resurrection remix in a while it's been like 2 to 3 months and many of the changes have been good looks actually cool let's just open some apps okay as you can see it cleared that over so guys thanks for watching this was my installation and review for the resurrection remix there are more cool things to discover so i will let on that to you guys and thanks for watching peace also subscribe to the channel for more grand prime videos and if you want so, to ask some questions about that i will leave my uh, instagram in the description i will post a pic or i have posted a pic so just leave comments on that on what you want to ask and i will surely answer that so thanks for watching peace